Now to Togo, the West African nation's election comes amidst political unrest which has lasted for over a year. Earlier this month, a coalition of 14 opposition political parties called for postponement of the elections. Religious groups have voiced their support to the postponement to prevent an escalation of violence. But the government is resolute. CGTN's Nabil Ahmed Rufai reports now from Accra. The ongoing parliamentary vote in Togo was scheduled to be held in July 2018. It was, however, postponed, and ECOWAS called for polling to take place on 20th December. The coalition of 14 opposition parties have boycotted the votes and have urged their supporters to do the same. The opposition parties have questioned the credibility of the voters' role and the independence of the Electoral Commission. At least four people were killed when opposition supporters clashed with the security forces in the capital Lome early this month. It happened during a protest against the parliamentary vote. At least 8,000 soldiers and police have been deployed across the country to ensure the safety of the parliamentary polls. Togo has seen a series of protests and violence since 2017. The opposition parties are demanding for a return to the country's constitution, which imposes limits on presidential terms to two. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.